Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple number counter using expressions and keyframes. So let's open up a new example composition for us to work on. I'll just use 19 by 1080 black composition. And let's go to Layer, New, and create a new text layer. Here I'll just put one as a placeholder, and in the character menu, you can choose a font, color, size, and all those settings. So next we want to head over to the effects panel. Here you should find under the expressions control section a slider control effect. So let's click and drag this onto the text layer. Now if we expand this text layer, we can see all the different effects we have on it and the properties about the text. So in order to enable expressions on the text, you want to head over to the animated stopwatch icon and you can see here it's telling you if you option click, it'll allow you to add or remove expressions. So hold down Alt or Option and click on that stopwatch. And now you see we have the option to add an expression. You might see your text go away, that's fine. So this is the default expression, text.sourceText. But if we click this little pick whip and we drag it onto the slider control effect, we can allow the source text to be controlled by a slider. So you can see here, when we dragged this over to attach to the slider, the expression now changed to be effect parentheses slider control slider. So now you can see when you click and drag the slider and move it outward or inward, the number is changing based on a slider control. So that's the cool part about expressions. But now let's use some keyframes to animate this. So I'm at zero seconds on the timeline right now. So let's set this back to zero because I want to start at zero and then click the stopwatch icon on the slider. Then let's head over to about five seconds, let's say, and let's make this 100. So now it's gonna go zero to 100. But you see all these decimal points that start popping up in the end because we haven't told After Effects what to do with these numbers or what numbers to round down to. So there's a couple ways that you could fix this decimal point issue if you don't want it. And for all of those of you who've taken a Java class or two, it's finally gonna come in handy here. So click on the expression again, and now we can start adding and building a little bit of basic code to adjust this expression how we want. So I'm gonna put my cursor at the end of this expression so I can add to it, and I'll use dot value dot two fixed, and then in parentheses, you can pick the decimal place that you want the value to be fixed to. So if you wanna round it down to one decimal, you can put the one in parentheses, and you should see your reflections take place. Or if you want it to be two decimals, let's say if you're doing money or whatever you needed, you could see it's two decimals. You could also just do zero if you don't want any decimal places and then it's just gonna give you a solid number. So that's one way to fix the rounding or decimal issue. And then another thing that you can do that's pretty cool is you can attach words or dollar signs or percentage signs onto this. So if I wanted to attach a dollar sign before, I'll do parentheses and then I could do dollar sign parentheses plus and then it'll add that to the expression. So when I press play now, you can see there's a dollar sign attached to the number counter. Or you could actually just make that have whatever character you wanted on there. So I could make it a percentage sign or I could add words like the amount of likes on this video. So we could make it say whatever we want and then have the number counter at the end. So you can see there's a lot of different ways that you could use some basic code and some basic expressions to adjust this number counter to be whatever you want. So I'm gonna go to the align menu and you can quickly use these buttons to align your number or layer to composition. And another cool thing you do from this point is add different effect keyframes. So if you wanted to add some different coloring effects, you could go to the text, click the animate button, and now you could choose what you wanted to animate on it. So let's animate the fill color in the RGB. So we'll make it go from white to a saturated money green. So I'll start with white, I'll click the stopwatch icon, I'll go over to the point where it fills up to $100, and I'll, I'll change the icon to be a bright green, and now when I press play, it'll transition from zero to five seconds white to green. So that's just one example of some different animations you could do, but there's a whole host of different effects that you could add onto this afterwards to customize it to your liking. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like on it below, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos, and follow me on social media at Justin Odisho so you can stay tuned with what's coming up next, behind the scenes, and more. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.